Welcome back to Drinkwater News, officially funded by Iran. By Iran. Our um, our brothers in arms. Pray for Iran. That's what people are saying. Pray for Iran. Yeah. Oh, that they're gonna retaliate. They kind of know. It's scary. Yeah. It's like you've seen what these people these, are capable people, of. You, you know what Israel's capable of. After the pager incident that yeah. was a movie. A, le- like, a legitimate movie scene. It's, yeah, it's like, <laughs> what do you think's going to happen? Yeah. That's what I don't understand. Like, I can understand it's a threat. I can understand it's like, hey, we're stronger than you think. Yeah. Because, again, no one was killed. Apparently only one Palestinian guy was killed. But I think they've left it up to them to, like, cease fire now. And be like, hey. Oh, okay, a warning. This is like a you warning You can't just shot. bomb um, Beirut. Yeah. And get away with it. Yeah. Like, they're our friends. Yep. Like, and we're here. Highly populated yeah. civilian areas. We'll launch a bunch of missiles just to prove we can get through your dome. True. Like, if it's on, it's on. Maybe it is terrifying. Did you the see? Israel, yeah. Yeah. Did you see um, Netanyahu do the speech? No. Nah. And his hands are shaking. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, He's today. He's like, uh, uh, we, <laughs> we're going to stay strong. We're going <laughs> to... It wasn't a good look. You can't have the shaky hands yeah. after that. But it maybe was a sign that this was a lot more intimidating than it kind of came across. It wasn't like a failure. It was they yeah, weren't in, very successful. Yeah, they weren't intending to like just blo- kill tens of thousands of people. Yeah. It was like a warning. And I think they just hit like their... I don't know if this is true, but I'll say it as a fact. They just hit their military um, equipment. Yeah. Took out a bunch of planes and infrastructure, but nowhere even where soldiers were stationed necessarily. Yeah. To really provoke. Yes. It was just like a Very slight, much a warning. Yes. It's like, hey, we Which got is past crazy you. how accurate they were. 100%. To not kill anyone. To not kill anyone. It's, it's like hundreds and hundreds of missiles. In a tiny little country. Yeah. No one. Not even like a little shrapnel when yeah. it just... Whoops. It's like um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, like Clint Eastwood just hitting your, <laughs> just shooting your, shoot hat, your hat off. off. <laughs> and you're, whoa. Okay. Sometimes you've got to shoot someone's hat off. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to hit them in the knee or have them lose a finger. It's like, no, I'm going to shoot the apple off your head. I'm going to shoot your hat off right yeah. now. That's how good I am. Yeah. I felt It felt like that as I'm kind of thinking about it more and more. Yeah. Um, so what are they saying? What's the update? They sent more than 180 missiles at Israel. And this they and they were ultrasonic missiles. So yeah. once they reached Israel, yeah. they would go into ultrasonic mode, and then the Iron Dome couldn't Gosh. defend them. Yeah, because what's going to happen? Are they going to have to improve on the Iron Dome in some way? Are they going to have time to? I don't know that you could, I don't but know if you can. <laughs> yeah, ultrasonic. That's like half a second to. Yeah. Sh- mm. It's probably because a really they're already going so fast yep. that you don't really need ultrasonic missiles because by the time you see it, it's going to come. You're not going to be able to run or drive away, essentially. Gosh. Like it, they're going so fast that it's like just another missile can't come and take it out. Yeah. Which Goodness crazy. gracious. So they're saying, what is it? Israel says Iran will pay. Yes. <laughs> for launching a major missile attack against it. Once a month, nah. Yeah. Because I saw. Um, Oh, last night, because I, I kind of woke up and then saw it all happening. Yeah, same. Yeah, and then it was this moment where... Um, I was like, gosh. I was like, is this it? Is I it started? Like, oh, that's not like, good. here we go. That's not going to be the here last we missile we see. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> here Then I was going to be like, fair enough. We, we shouldn't have yeah. gone that hard on Lebanon. We're going to pull our troops out. We, let's do a ceasefire. Let's yeah. all be friends. That's in a world where that happened. You're like, hey, you guys be Muslim in your country. We'll be Jewish. Iran, yeah. get our hostages back. Yeah. Let's all be friends. Let's do a trade Let's just, deal. Yeah. Let's make money. Let's go to the Riz party together. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and listen to... Go, They're go, going on FaZe Ronaldo's stream, Netanyahu yeah. and the leader of Iran. Because it's... It got scary. But that's not, not going to happen at all. There was going to be some... iPhones are going to start exploding. I saw... When I saw those missiles going off... Hitting these targets, I was like, oh, this looks like it's in the tens of thousands. Of people. Yeah. yeah that, I was like, I was oh like, my if God. this is happening. But I just saw Tel Aviv hit with missiles. Yeah. And you see footage. Yeah. Like, bam, 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 hundreds, and they're big, and you hear the sound. Like, yeah. 
Like, they're getting hit. That's why I really don't get... I'm not sure if they sheltered in time. Yeah. Because they have really good um, bomb shelters and warning systems. And yeah. Whether people would have died. I know. And that's it's true. just because that's they true. have all the infrastructure to prevent... Yeah. Human casualties. Yeah. Because I cannot understand. I'm not understand. sure, yeah. Like, you send over hundreds of missiles that looked like they were hitting spots... And, causing and they're damage. not. I don't know. I maybe haven't kept up. But Israel isn't saying much. Yeah. They're Whether not. they're hiding figures or I don't know if they're like terrified, like legitimately terrified. Because I saw it. It's pretty and scary. Then yeah. They didn't seem rattled. Or the video. People in the video seem rattled. But then I. <laughs> when the I government know. doesn't seem rattled. <laughs> Put on Ben Shapiro. <laughs> he seemed rattled. He seemed really relaxed. Right. Yeah, I don't know if it was like a bluff. Like, I can't show any sign of weakness. Like, Netanyahu shaking when reading the letter. Benjamin, I mean, Ben's in his nice American studio. I saw he um, fled. Yeah. Fled America. Yeah, or fled Israel. Ben was in Israel. Yeah. Oh, um, um, ben, That was a fake video. Benny, Benny Netanyahu. That was a fake video. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Him running. No, no. I saw him running as well. <laughs> that was fake. <laughs> Um, but I saw like the the government plane was leaving as oh, the right. missiles were going on, and they were like, "Oh, he's going back to Poland or something <laughs> like that." Uh, all the comments were saying, it's "Probably fake." Yeah, and that probably fake yeah. as well. <laughs> but yeah, I think I don't know. I, they don't seem to be too rattled. They're kind of like, "Okay, it's just a bit too quiet." I don't. I don't like yeah. the quietness. Yeah, I don't like the quiet either. There's no calls for peace or conversation or yeah. Because when I saw that, I'm like, okay, it's probably taken out at least 10,000 people. I just thought it'd be a couple of hundred or something. Yeah. And I would be like, okay. And it would be like military targets, but near severe, you know, some yeah. missed and hit. Looked like it was going crazy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is it. They're just That's going to I'm town. I'm confused about why more, like, I don't get what they've hit. <laughs> yeah. I can't understand either. Like, what's happening here? Um, so you can't really verify anything on Twitter when it's just happened. That's true. It's still, yeah, still relatively new. What's going on? What's this? <laughs> oh, they're trying to say, look, these two friends are discussing the rocket, rocket attack in Jerusalem right now. Yeah. So they're chilled. They're, well, that was pretty they crazy. They very relaxed. They look very relaxed. So they're kind of trying to say, what's going on here? So it looks worse than it was. I think so. And I guess it's yeah. nothing new necessarily. They've been getting bombed for... A year. Yes. And once and they've been getting through the Iron Dome, but just a very, very, very small amount. And this is probably one of the most successful attacks. Yes. I think they said since the foundation. On Israel, yeah. Literally since the foundation, this is the most successful attack on Israel. Um and which is huge. So they're saying what's going on. They launch around 180 missiles towards Israel. Um What's saying? Okay, it's a slightly larger attack than April's um, attack. Okay, in April there were 110 ballistic missiles. And I don't think I it's remember that one. That was the real like, hey, cut it out. We're here. Yeah, it was that sort and of. And none even reached here. Israel. Yeah, they really all got shot down, all. and they're very slow <laughs> and obvious by the scene. Yes. looks of it. So they say most missiles were shot down by the um, uh, aerial defense system. Um, an Israeli security official said, um, okay, they're saying some military bases may have been hit and that restaurants and schools were hit. BBC. Again, you always have to be careful just um, who, you're, who you're reading. Yeah. Um, I saw one that um, <coughs> the Mossad headquarters. Yeah, I saw that as well. Whether uh, We need a fact check. Okay, but he's yeah. in a civilian... Area oh, and it contradicts the whole argument that yeah. these two countries put all their infrastructure in highly populated civilian areas. Yes. Yeah. And so they've hit that target. Yeah. And everyone was trying to make that case. Yes. I saw that as well. But it's like, yeah. well, you guys do it as well because you're also in a tiny little country. Yeah. And you're doing it to evade other countries from seeing you. So you're no better. Yes. You've got to kind of do a little bit of that. You don't want to have like the Mossad headquarters just be on some rural hill. <laughs> You know what I mean? In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and it's like... Uh, Mount Sinai. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are, guys. Here we are, brothers. Just don't hit us. Okay? That's the rule. <laughs> we kind of got to... We got to have this place here. I don't know. Maybe it's just what you have to do. But it's such a tiny country. 
But they're all tiny countries, so of course That's they're true. all. So, yeah, what have you got? So they're saying um, it was hit. Um, what is the information saying here? Um, and then it's that saying, does Lebanon have a right to defend itself? That's true. That's true. You're going in here. I've seen just a crazy amount of Lebanese people celebrating. That's yes, all I see on Twitter. From the death of yeah, Nasrallah. Yeah, it's like, oh, thank you. I think a lot of Arabic people around the world. I think it's like a lot of Christians who don't like the Muslim regime in that yeah, country. They're saying, okay, yeah. this is this is great. Right. And I guess I, uh, civilians are getting killed. I think they're saying there's like hundreds of in where in uh, Lebanon. In Lebanon, yeah, hundreds getting killed. of civilians died. Yeah, yeah, so there are there's civilian death going on. Yes. Um. I don't know. And a very, I don't want to say unprovoked, but a very drastic attack. Yeah. Yeah. That would, like, why wouldn't they respond? I guess they're giving them the chance to leave, but that's the same. Um, Who to leave? Oh, the Lebanese. To leave where? The country. Or leave the areas um, bordering Israel. It's like we're going in here. They attacked Beirut in the center of Lebanon. Right. That's where Nasrallah was. Oh, okay. Which but is like, like um, that's true. It's hard That's to true. find an equivalent, but I guess you know, it's like bombing a, a if very a, an advanced modern country in yeah. this. It's like if, yeah. if we China bombed Sydney, yeah. you'd be like, what? If I'm getting if they're threats from China, yeah, we go into Queensland, <laughs> go into the Gold Let's Coast, have a quick holiday on the Gold Coast. Let's go to Canberra, Questacon. I wouldn't go to Canberra. Do you know what I mean? I'll be Parliament like, House. I'll be going down the slide. Right next to Parliament House. You're right. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you probably can't go there. You'd be yeah, on the Goldie. Go there. You'd be on the Gold Coast. Maybe you could try at Perth. Where all the military bases are. Oh, yeah, okay. Once you, probably can't go there. <laughs> you probably can't go to Perth. Um, Wollongong? No one's hitting Wollongong. No one's hitting the Gold. There's nothing there. The whole war would be like, the whole of Australia would be demolished and the Gold yeah, would the just be gone. And the Chinese would be like, we don't really want that. <laughs> Maybe in the future. But it's a nice beach. Is it? Really. Is it? Yeah. you got to kind of ask yourself that, is it? I haven't even been to Wollongong, but I'm very quick to trash it. I've literally, I've never, literally been. never stepped foot on in Wollongong my entire life. But I'm dissing the beach. I know. Because I'm, if it was good, I probably would have been there. I've heard about it. We've seen videos. I wouldn't people like, dude, you got to check out this beach in yeah. Wollongong. Um, I'll take yeah. with Sundays and Hamilton. Yeah, that, I know ones that I I can't not see. Why don't they just do that? China just take, just take with Sundays, yeah, send their influences. We go here now. Yeah, <laughs> I'd still go. Yeah, be alongside them. Yeah, the Chinese restaurants opening up. Because this is the thing. Okay, people are like, everyone wants this. I'm seeing a lot of stuff like nothing ever happens. Yeah, I'm seeing that pop up a lot on Twitter. Everyone's nothing so ever happens nothing in ever this happens. escalation of yeah. war. Yeah. Just nothing ever happens. Everyone's like ready for this World War Three. What people happens? don't want to but are expecting like nuclear bomb. 40, yeah. 40, 400,000 people dead. Yes. And be like, that was me last night. Yeah. I was in bed being like... Well, we probably shouldn't speak too soon, but... I know, probably shouldn't speak too soon. Because I'm being <laughs> selfish. I'm like, is this going to affect my holiday in a few months? <laughs> is Japan still going to be okay? <laughs> That's what's going through my head. Am I still going to be able to go to the Shibuya Crossing, do the funny Mario Karts? As long as I can they do got that, Mario Karts. They got Mario Karts. Let's, re- let's call a ceasefire then. <laughs> if I can't do Mario Karts. We're going to Japan We're going to Japan, like Japan three everyone. months. We'll be uh, doing a podcast in we'll Japan. We'll be doing a podcast live. From the yeah. hotel in Japan. Yeah, from the hotel in Japan. We're going to do a full, yeah, a few, it's gonna be good. few episodes yeah. live from Japan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've got like Mario Karts. I want to be doing that. Yeah. And if this war is going to stop me from getting on my we've Mario got to hire, We're going to hire a friend, bring him on. It's $100. Oh, true. Bring a Japanese person on and interview them. Yeah. yeah we just hire talk, a friend. We just talk about the war in the Middle East the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't know a word of English. But you could hire one that speaks English, surely. Oh, really? I think. <laughs> just be like, okay, you good? $100, here's a camera. So we're, we're doing a podcast. Are you yeah. good to be? Yeah, I suppose. Um, so uh, we're proudly here sponsored by Iran and the regime. Yes. Um, we have our friend. <laughs> we just put on like the Hamas headbands. <laughs> we just, it's right if you put this on, we're about to start. <laughs> we just get out like machine Put guns. a Nasrallah on the wall. <laughs> we ready? Yeah. But yeah, like everyone's wanting, or not even wanting, but they're ready for World War Three. Yeah. That's been trending too much now. Like it was a few months ago, and then it just never happened. Yeah, I think it's over. 
I think they've done the whole uh, boy that cried wolf thing for World War Three. Yeah. And now it has to be so drastic. This was the last chance for World War Three to happen. People are now sick of it. If it doesn't happen. Yeah. Or like this was the last chance. But wars are slow. Maybe. It seems fast historically, but yeah. like World War Two was a long time. Right. A very long time. It's like they were invading Poland. Okay. Very slow. And then they had Poland and then nothing happened for a bit. Yeah. Then they invaded France, but there wasn't much fighting. It happened kind of swiftly and just historically claiming. <laughs> I'm sure I'm a bit <laughs> off. But it was somewhat like this, you know? It wasn't this, like, 20 million people dead in a day. Right. All at once. It was very slow. It didn't happen just, like, immediately. Over years and years and years. Yeah, that It was a slow build-up. Okay, and you're like, oh, this is happening, that's happening. for some people, if you're in Gaza, it's not going to feel like you're not in World War III, you know? Yeah, your world's over. If you're at Wit Sundays, you're like... If you're in, like, Shibuya... Yeah. Oh! Oh! Wearing like a silly hat. I think you're meant to wear silly hats when you're on the carts as well. A Luigi <laughs> hat. <laughs> like, yeah, like a big octopus thing. Uh, you drop turtle shells. Throw bananas. <laughs> do they give you bananas to throw? That'd be great. Know. That'd be great if they did. But yeah, it's not going to feel like World War Three if you're there. I wasn't oh, planned, man. by the way. What was? The banana. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. That was literally... because it's Thumbnail. Bam. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, um, World War Three. I'm seeing what's happening here. Trump says US is very um, close to a global catastrophe. Catastrophe. What's it going to look like? How's it going to? How the yeah? Where are the superpowers? Yeah. What are what, what are we doing? Doing doing doing. So you got Russia Ukraine going on. You got uh, wars going on in Forget Sudan. That that even. Happened. I know everyone. That's going heavy apparently. And then I guess all we need for a world war is something on the Middle East. And I think technically, technically we it. already are in a world war three. Oh, by okay. definition by of definition, a world war. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's going on in... Oh, I guess Myanmar's having like some civil unrest. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with China. Do we need something to happen with China in order to, for it to count as World War Three? It already is World War Three, so we're in World War Three. We are right by now. definition in World uh, War Three okay. yep. of a world. We are in a world war. The war is a the world is at war. Okay, it's like um, superpowers uniting against one another. Yeah, essentially. I guess it hasn't quite got there yet. It, I, well, when China, Russia, Iran, um, India all signed some treaty. And then Australia, America, England, NATO all have signed some connection. That was kind of the definition of World War. Okay. That the two sides of the world yep. are at war We're with at one war. another. Okay. Interesting. And they're fighting. Yeah. Where you have Ukraine is fighting Russia. Yeah. Ukraine backed by America and NATO. Then you have Israel fighting Gaza. Yeah. Fighting Hamas if you want to call it fighting. Yeah. Hamas backed by Iran. Yeah. Israel backed by America. Yeah. Then you have the rest. Okay. <laughs> the yeah. rest. So it's looking it's looking that way. Yeah. Like you could really easy, easily classify it as being yeah. a world war right now. And now Lebanon ground yeah. offensive is about to begin where that's yeah. a full legitimate Yemen. war. Yemen ground offensive I heard was um, yeah. taking place like a day or two ago. Is that from, let's see, what's going on there? Is that from Jim, though? No, this was um, from... I think it was. Go. <laughs> Usually, you know, I think this was... Here we go. Um, oh, but what's Kaisen at? Got a butt plug, though, and it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, as as this was all going on, the Diddy thing came up. By the way, he's a bit we'll, we'll get into that. Yeah. We're going to get distracted. We're going to do exactly what the news does. But and we're in more important that. news... Yeah. P. Diddy finally got arrested. Yeah, and he is uh, 120 counts. 120 counts. Yeah, I wanted. We got a. We got a. We wanna, let's put a. Sure. Let's put a bow on this a little bit. Um. So what's going on? Israel hit Yemen's infrastructure again. What we know, why it matters. So there's just uh, we pray for everyone and pray for peace. Yeah. I think, basically, to sum this up, um, what's going to happen? What's going on right now? What's going to happen? Yeah. That's the real question. Well, ever, what does this ball, mean? The ball is currently in Israel's court. Again. Against Ar- Iran. Yeah. Like it was, I think, 
few months ago now. Yeah, yeah that last time they had that sort of photo. Uh, and then, you know, you threat. see the conspiracy theorists that are like, um, they let those missiles hit. So now they have provocation to attack Iran. Oh, And to get America's support to be like, hey, and the yeah. Iron Dome didn't necessarily fail. Yeah. But the few failed and hit areas where no one Interesting. was. Interesting. I like But it this. looks yeah. bad. Yeah. So the conspiracy and theory... And you've got, I don't know, maybe it yeah. was this conspiracy, but the shake is yeah. like further provocation that like we're terrified, like we're going to have to do something. Okay, yeah, it's going to get real. Conspiracy though, like I don't even believe that. And I, how am I going to find any Yahoo's handshaking? <laughs> All this stuff. Sure like, it's modern though. It could be old. Nah, a lot of the oh, ones are very is. old. Maybe yeah. it is. Yeah. It's like him running, was running to the Knesset to vote three oh, really? years ago. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's so funny just how social media works like that. It's <laughs> so easy just to throw anything up. Yeah. You could just do like, yeah, live from <laughs> live from Tel Aviv and have one of those weird AI and there's like a big monster. Yeah. Kind of smashing <laughs> cars yeah, and yeah. throwing people around. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, what happens now? I, li- I like that idea of the conspiracy theory. It's like, hey, let's turn it off. Let's just not- a few, just a few. Yeah, let that, 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 that let that. these hundred hit. They don't yeah. look these like they're heading gonna, to. They yeah. aren't going to hurt. Ba ba ba. We're they're not all lose evacuated, any right? Sweet. Yeah. Let those hit. Okay, let these hit. Make sure everyone's filming. Yep. Bam. Because what's going to happen now? Yeah. Is it going <laughs> to be something similar? Are they going to try to respond with that level of threat yeah. towards Tehran? Yeah. Is that the answer? And how's that going to look? Because you know and they have to... And then what? And then what? It's like this tit for tat. It's actually scary. Yeah. That there isn't some supreme ruler to just like <laughs> quash everyone and just be like, relax. Yeah. yeah. Like a bit of fun and games, but yeah. like... Because this meant to... What are we doing? Let's not end the entire yeah. earth. <laughs> like, That's true. Right now. Titoff. This is getting Funny like, you. That's not Titoff stuff. <laughs> Come on. Because last night they were like, Israel's planning to attack tonight. That's They're what quick. I saw. They're quick they- and swift. And like they didn't, yeah, I'm sure they already had their plans ready for this to happen. They would have to know this was going on. I mean, if this it was, was to happen. Yeah, if this was going to occur. Like, yeah. What are we going to do? They should have been ready. And now it's just literally waiting to see what they do. Do they start killing? They ain't dumb. Yeah. Say the... Because IQ and in the not, world. And they're not scared to kill her. To <laughs> kill break a, a few eggs. Too. <laughs> yeah. I don't even would have, Yeah, no, no, it's like you got to crack a few eggs to make an omelette. <laughs> Is that what he said? I don't know. I can imagine him saying It'd be good if he just said Even that. the US thing. <laughs> Gays for Gaza is like chickens, chickens for KFC. Um, I love that he's just on Twitter reading memes. That's what's funny. <laughs> but it is going to be fascinating. Yeah. Because if you're in Israel, you're like, come on, you got to do something. You can't let them get away with this. Yeah. I need to see that there's a, there's a response. They have to pay. And how are they going to pay? It's the scariest illusion of the world. It's like in that movie um, where there's a civil war in America. Did you watch that? No, I think you've mentioned this one. But in it, um, the powerful friend talks to the, like some kind of Elon Musk person. Okay, yeah. And has the quote that it's like, the scariest thing is that no one's really in charge. Like, we all like to think that, oh, it's not like we have these governments. Yeah. And they're going to make sure we're all all right. But yeah. They're all just pe- they're all just people. Some dude. Working some job. Yeah. Who doesn't really fully know, doesn't really fully have that much power. Yeah. It's just some dude. Who's like on the toilet on Twitter. True. Just like you. True. But when he walks out of the toilet, he's going into the situation room. Yeah. He's like, what should we do? And he's like, what should we do? What yeah, should they're we do? doing a bit like, do, 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 do. <laughs> what should I do? do, 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 do. Um, oh, there is no grandmaster um, planner. There is no Illuminati controlling all world events. Yeah. The scariest part is no one is in control and anything could happen at yeah. any time. It's just people. Which is where like people like, if you really get um, powerful and egotistic enough, you can just become some Hitler. Yeah. Like the world is yours. Like my like, Uncle yeah. Jack always said, life is what you make it. <laughs> he said that. I think what's that? From Breaking Bad, the Nazi uh, uncle. One of my favorite quotes. Really? Remember uh, the creepy guy says it? The real remember. deadpan one. Can't remember. Not Gus? Um, not Mike? Mike Ehrman Trout? No, it's the final. It's the Nazi. The bikies. Oh, I can't remember. No. The neo-Nazis. Right. Um, I, it would have been. I haven't watched Breaking Bad yeah. in 10 years or maybe more. My Uncle Jack always used to say, life is what you make it. 
<laughs> so good. It is, I want to get into Breaking Bad. We get again. back into Breaking Bad. No, again. like talking about it. We'll get uh, into we'll that. Do a full podcast just to Breaking Bad. Well, even I just want to talk on it. Should we just go into that now? Because I rewatched the last season. Really? I do want to. I do want to kind of <laughs> just sit with this is a Breaking little Bad longer. Not more important. <laughs> Real question. Um, I guess I would love this idea. Is like okay, we're, nu- we're nuking him. We're nuking him. Just something clicks, and then everyone's like, "No, we can't do that." It's like we're doing it. Yeah, just runs over. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> See what happens. Because apparently they both have n bombs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about that word. <laughs> they apparently both. This is it neo Nazi uh, Twitter? This is neo Nazi Twitter. But they uh, both You're dropping n bombs and ain't talking nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to your country soon. That'd be funny, like an N bomb. They have like a, a video of <laughs> uh, sub Saharan being dropped off. The leaders saying the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Netanyahu saying the N word. That would that would ruin Israel. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be. Good. Uh, that's Iran's N bomb. Like, oh, you didn't think? We're two steps ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrifying. Just, yeah, Netanyahu talking, saying drops the N word, clear as day, not AI. What We're that would do? Kill you. Yeah. <laughs> You were saying <laughs> she goes full racist, violent psycho. It'd be pretty funny. It would be good. Uh, <laughs> but they've both got end bombs. I thought there was going to be some. There were going to be some end bombs getting dropped last. No night. one wants no end bombs dropped. Really, not good for no one. Really, nuclear waste, f- f- the wind taken. Is that where you're going to be gone? It's kind of like killing someone. Oh, I mean, not I really. It's more than killing. Yeah, it's someone. more than killing someone. <laughs> I guess you're a leader of a country and you just decide, to fine, when you can. But what I guess, like, America <laughs> set the trend is you nuke a very, like, um, unpopular area just okay. to be, like... Yeah. Like, they're not going to nuke Jill. Tehran. They're going to yeah. nuke some random, poor, innocent part of Iran. Yeah. Just to be, like... Hey, come on. This is our, this is our response. Yeah. Don't do that again. Be like, it's over. Yeah. And maybe in the in the realm of nothing happens of the nothing happens world, because does it just like when Japan got hit? Yeah, when they hit Nagasaki, Hiroshima, and Hiroshima. Are they just like, oh, yeah, it's kind of true, it's kind of done. But they didn't have M bombs, mm. and this is different because so both, both sides have N bombs. Both sides have it. It's like if you're sending the N bomb, I'm quickly sending it back. Yeah, I don't know if that can work. I don't know if it works I like th- that think it does i don't know much about it. when i hear nukes. people talk about it it does that the whole world or like 90 percent of the world would be dead in four minutes if there's a nuclear war really it's that quick because a lot of these countries have instant res- respond nuclear weapons that yeah. if the moment a nuclear weapon hits theirs is launched right gosh okay <laughs> well like russia almost nuked america from a mistranslation during the cold war really where they got um a message Something like that, that America had launched a nuclear bomb to Russia and they were like seconds away from hitting it. Yeah. And then once they, but they're like, let's just double check with the commander. Yeah. Like, nah. And it's like, oh, that was close. I wonder if it is a button like that. It as is. Well, is it just a single button? They have them all over. Really? They're usually on like submarines out at sea. Gosh. Must feel pretty good to press. <laughs> just from like a, on a human level, it must feel pretty good to press that button. The guy that dropped the Hiroshima one. What did he say? Um, I am man destroyer of worlds. Oh uh, yeah. And then I think killed himself. Damn, it's not good on the on the conscious. Yeah, I, I have some imagine. nightmares after that. I know. Can I, I can't imagine it feeling the best. Yeah, but at least it's not. You're not like going to go get an aside by the beach. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, you know, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Just you know, sitting, you're just sitting at life. Life's what you make it. You just don't go to grilled, sit by yourself. Just get like, those. These burgers are good. Yeah, these are pretty good. These sweet potato chips are okay. I mean, even though I've got to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. I've got to live in the now. Yeah. I'm having a burger. I'm yeah. healthy. I'm taking care of myself. I'm enjoying myself. I'm with the gym again after. Why yeah. not? Just, yeah, working out after dropping a nuke. <laughs> People just don't know what I've just done. <laughs> Um, anyway, we can we can put a close to that. Um, <laughs> See so, what the world does. We yeah. are, it's out of our hands. So, what's the final final thoughts before we get into the real news? Pray for peace. Yep. Mashallah, shalom, 
sort it out. Let's not kill people unnecessarily. Yeah. Let's unite. Yeah. Okay, and for the people that are like the whole nothing ever happens people, it's, as soon as it, you personally get involved, it's not fun. Yes. It's great if it's, it's very far removed. It's true in your country. I know. You see it on yeah. a screen like a movie, but the yeah. second... The second it impacts you. You're going to be... The second you can't get on that go-kart in Tokyo, yeah. you're going to be like, oh, I don't want it's things wor- to happen. Yes. Yeah, I'm you happy for nothing. You will be crying for happen. peace instantly. Yeah. You'd be like, dang, I used so to think like, like that. anyone like trying to provocate it and push it, it's just... Like, I know. We don't want anything. Yeah. Life's too good. Yes. Now on to real war crimes. Yes. P. Diddy. <laughs> P. Diddy. Um, Worst I, man in human history. I don't think there's been someone worse. Call him the New York Netanyahu. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And basically, he's he's killed. He's done things far worse to 30,000 children. <laughs> By the sounds of it. <laughs> By the sounds of it. This is crazy, though. This is what everyone uh, was assuming a nine-year-old boy or one of these claims. Gosh. Uh, uh, um, among more than 120 Diddy accusers, there's a nine-year-old boy. So what's going is, on Is here? that someone we know? I don't know. Here we go. It's, it's crazy. It's funny. It's like... Um, Busby, I don't even know what that is. Who's Busby? Uh, his security guard. Oh, here we go. Houston lawyer Tony Busby um, said he expected lawsuits to be filed within the next month. I think he's the guy who's prosecuting him. Um, he described the victims as 60 males and 60 females and said there were 25 miles. He don't discriminate. He don't discriminate, <laughs> literally. He's living up to all these rumours. Yeah. Because for the last few months, it's just been videos of Diddy... Doing things that could be perceived as gay. Yeah. And everyone's like, this man can't be free because he's like touching Mike Tyson. Yeah. The 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 offense was just being a gay man. Yeah. And now it's a lot worse. Than yeah. That. It's not just him being some gay. Well, there was guy. the video of him beating up um Cassie. In, Cassie crazy. in the hotel room. Yeah. Which was the f- that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Where it's like he's 100% gay. Yeah, like he's that a, was he's, full, he should be in prison. Yes. Yeah, he should literally like be in prison. On for that. camera beating yeah. up a woman. In an insane way, in a bathrobe, yeah. like a psychopath. Yeah, legitimately. Like, crazy. All this other stuff that I see on Twitter, where it's, he's, he's doing sus activity. Yeah, with that meat meal crazy. by the pool. <laughs> That's what, like, everyone's jumped on. Yeah. And everyone's kind of run with this idea, these are his crimes. These are his crimes, hanging out with Justin Bieber. Yeah. Like, I, I saw a good video, or a crazy one, just... Justin Bieber was doing like a parody of the um, kid that got his like wisdom teeth oh, taken out. Oh, the fake out. one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there was like some uh, woman at the bottom like you responding to him. see him at it. the club with someone and he's got his head down and then he like pops Oh, up. yeah, that one. I haven't, that was that was uh, proven like to be fake it's years like a, ago. Right, true. Years true, ago. True, true. All this stuff's like so obviously fake. Yeah. Where you're like, if that was true, there would be something more about it. That like we're just not, we're not showing. It's not going to be like on a video. On video yeah. Do you know what I mean? The Cassie one was on video. Yeah. Which is crazy. But this, so what's going on here? Um, what's going on here? Um, here we go. He, um, ele- he said the ele- allegations against the rapper were the biggest um, secret in the entertainment industry, which really wasn't a secret at all. And it's always been a known thing. Yeah, everyone kind of knows this. So they're saying like he's very is very evenly divided, which props to Diddy for like picking and choosing. <laughs> he's he, he's going for everyone. Well, I think a, a big thing has been that he's been even around his friends and close community, hiding his potential homosexuality. Okay, yeah. So there'll always be a girl there. So it's not like, like I ain't gay. It's just interesting. A, it's an yeah, orgy or all that makes fun sense. Kind that of makes thing. sense. Or he's bi or I don't yeah. know. But yeah, they're saying what's going on um, between male and female, <coughs> 62% of the individuals and identifying as African-American, 30% white and the remainder Hispanic or Asian. So I don't see any Native Americans and I'm not really too keen on that. <laughs> um... Or Pacific Islanders, so not everyone's getting involved in this. Or Indians. Um, or Indians, yeah. We should probably think about that. <laughs> Mo- the majority of humans on Earth. Oh, true. Come on, Diddy. What's it got against India? Um, 
<laughs> focusing on the age of the victims. Because this is the thing. I had this this thought that you're a you're a seventeen year old. You're at the club. You've yep. got like an underage thing. Someone's like, "Hey, Diddy's got a party going on. You want to go? You're going. You're going. You're going to Diddy's party. You go to the Diddy party. Things get a bit crazy. Everyone's doing drugs. Yeah. You're it's... Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Brad Pitt." Yeah. Um. Sorry, not Brad Pitt. Leonardo. Yeah. Royalty. I think royalty. The, the like British royalty. Like I mean, Prince like Harry's the there. Greatest room on earth, right? Yeah. Now. And you're 17 years yeah. old, and you're like, that was pretty crazy. And Diddy's like, hey. um, here's a girl. You yeah. want to come through? Yeah. We're all having fun back. Yeah. You're like, and then you end up. I don't know. There's like, everyone's kind of getting naked. I've heard. Yeah. Well, the Kardashians were saying that things go on. You're at this inappropriate it party. It seems like they have fun, a lot of them. Yeah. That's where I'm like, not to discount anything, but it's like, are some of them just like, some, they're some the elite parties? having crazy yeah. parties. Of course, of course. Like they always would have. Yeah, they have no so much money. Party. They're not getting up at... They don't have, like, the hangover day and then, like, work. Of course. They're not getting up for their office job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're flying to Milan tomorrow. I get my, like, detox needle. Yeah. We're, like, going on a sailing ship around, doing it again with my other mates in Italy. Like, yeah. Let's enjoy a, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> we're enjoying tonight. They also release the... It's um, in a class and wealth that you can't even really imagine until you're there. 100%. And, like, that much freedom and power. It's yeah, hard to in really one grasp. Room. It's like... Not for him, but for some of them, it's like, why wouldn't she be doing that? Anyone would. He's the, he's Anyone the, one, he's the one bringing them together as well. Yeah, he's putting he's on like, these crazy yeah, parties. I'm getting royalty, I'm getting businessmen, I'm yeah. getting rappers, I'm getting actors, and we're all getting together in one room, yeah. and we're going nuts. Yes. Do you know we're what letting I mean? loose. Yeah, we're letting loose. And usually what happens with very powerful people, they, uh, they're they deviant. Yeah. They get up to very deviant activity. Yeah, they've done it all. They've yeah, got to you've take it to the next level. Of course. And this is, the, I think, what happened with the whole Epstein Island thing. I don't agree, but yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't think that's any, yeah. It wasn't deviant what went on at the... I don't think it oh, was just rich people sense. having fun. I think there was a lot more. I don't know. I think there was a bit of that. Uh, I don't. The sounds of it. I don't. I had yeah. never really heard the sound really? of Really? Okay. But maybe um, I'm judging. <laughs> so what they're saying here... I don't, I don't remember seeing... Photos and videos of the parties at Epstein's Island. I don't think there are any. There are countless photos and videos at every Diddy party. Yeah. The mocks in TV shows, like there was no secretive thing about yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. It was a Diddy party. I knew it. I knew about the white parties. Yeah, everyone was... It's, Since it I was a some, kid. He talks about it on TV, like bragging. Like, yeah. He wasn't ashamed. Like, you better come to my party. And everyone's like, oh, we know what he meant by that. Yeah. <laughs> Come to my party, change your vibration. <laughs> when he's dressed as the Joker, it's one of my favorite videos. He's like, who is that? You don't know who oh, I am? <laughs> I'm love. I'm love. <laughs> <laughs> and he changed his name to love a few years ago. Uh, but yeah, this is scary. So they're saying there's an individual who's 14 years, years old. Uh, one who is things 15. can get out of hand. Yeah, where you start breaking the law and yeah. traumatizing people for the rest exactly. of your life. Exactly. Um, so here we go. What's going on? So he's been locked up. He's in Brooklyn. Um, he's Epstein's in- jail. He's on suicide watch. Oh, he's on suicide watch. <laughs> Sorry, it's not Epstein's jail. I don't think he wasn't in Brooklyn. He was in New York. Uh, okay. I think it was in Manhattan. Uh, right. Yeah, they're saying he used his power and prestige to induce female victims into drugged up. Elaborative, um, elaborately, elaborately produce sexual sexual performances with male sex workers in events dubbed freak ops. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the thing. This stuff happens. Yes, this stuff happens with the elite. Yeah, people like to go watch that sort of yeah. stuff all over the world. And I guess he probably saw that somewhere at a party. Went to Amdam. Yeah, went to Amdam, saw something like that, and it's like, I'm going to bring that back here. Yeah. And he probably just didn't get the right... It's like Spanion bringing the kebabs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He's doing like some weird, inspired. weird sort of like German-style Turkish kebab. We still need to go do that. We still need to go review it. But it's like, oh, yeah, this was so big here. Let's bring it back here. Everyone in Sydney's like, this isn't a kebab. What's this? It's like a sandwich. <laughs> And I think that's what Diddy did. He went yeah. to some parties overseas. He was like, this like, ain't a freak-off. This is a bit... 
This is Diddy. Did you get the? You, he's doing his version of what he saw. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, so there's free cops going on. Um, okay, and a woman is accused an NFL quarterback to Sean Watson of sexual assault. I think this is at one of the parties. So he's hiring people. He's hiring sex workers Pain. to do this. And I guess what is it? Some of them are underage. I don't know. Is that the problem? I hate to like defend. Yeah, because I, I, I'm wanting to so, just, yeah, yeah, I'm wanting to play around with this idea here. We're just asking questions. But everyone's kind of like, no, this shouldn't be going on. Okay, nine year old boy, what's going on here? They yes. talk about the, they talk about the minors. What's happening Nine here? Nine is where you're like full-blown pedophilia. Yeah, 100%. This isn't some young person that looks a bit older and had a fake ID. Okay, so here we go. I so, don't think I can even say that, but whatever. Oh, yeah, you can talk about it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so he's accused of sexually assaulting 25 minors, including a nine-year-old boy. <laughs> That's what they're saying now. Um, so this is the thing, like, what did they mean by sexually assault? Um, here we go. Youngest victim. When did this disgraced sexually assaulted them? Okay, what's going on? Okay, here we go. Uh, this individual who was nine years old at the time was taken to an audition in New York City uh, with Bad Boy Records. Other boys were there to audition as well. Okay, here we go. Um, all the kids were seeking TV or movie or uh, music careers. Promises of like being made a star. Uh, the individual was sexually abused, allegedly, by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio um, with the promise to both his parents and himself of getting a record deal. <sighs> That's crazy. That's, like, as bad as it could get. That is, yeah, one of the worst things. That's literally... Crimes in. Yeah. That's as bad as it gets. Yes. And this is the thing. It's so misty and so foggy this whole diddy scenario yeah that if this is the crime people need to be talking about this yeah don't just say he's been freaky with mike Tyson. yeah and a bunch of I mean? sex workers um not to dismiss them or anything but it's yeah. like you know that's happening everywhere yes. and like this is a opportunity to mm. whatever if that's, if that's the issue it's like you're probably not getting the best consent or they're like oh he made me do i wasn't this, think it was going to be this it was yeah. a bit further than i usually do blah 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 yeah in the moment, I just did it because he was famous and I yeah. felt intimidated. And that it is horrible, yeah. but it's... Yeah. Because that's a problem. Yes. But, again, it's Not a different thing. Worst thing this, in the world. It's very different to... It's kind of... Yeah. Sexually assaulting a nine-year-old boy with a whole bunch of other people in the studio yeah. and being like, it's part of becoming a star. Yeah. That's literally as bad as it gets. Yeah. Um, let's see what's going on here. And is this, was this Usher or Dang. JB or but JB? I don't know. Or is this one of these like young little rapper, like YBN, whatever? I know. I really don't know. So they're saying like there are sexual favors um, in exchange for a record deal with these minors. <sighs> this is like as bad as it gets. Yeah. This is literally as bad as it gets. So it's all coming out now. Um, a 15 year old fly to New- fly- who was flown to New York City to attend a party where she was drugged um, taken up into a private room in the presence of Diddy okay yeah she was dang yeah she was sexually assaulted by a bunch of people that's crazy <laughs> crazy that's crazy scary that's really terrifying, terrifying. that's really terrifying um, yeah so that's kind of it's all coming to the surface it's good yeah Dang, he probably is worse than Nanya. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Nanya who goes home to his wife every yeah. night. Yeah, he's killing. And probably people. watches. Yeah, friends. The documentary of this. I know, like, like, this, this guy, guy is a sicko. This guy is crazy. This guy's a sicko. Um, what's going on? We'll expose the enablers who enable this conduct behind closed doors. This is crazy because this is everyone's, really messed up. everyone's had this fear. Or this story about the industry being like this. Yeah. And I've always assumed it came from a place of, oh, we're just using that as a, a wall to kind of scare people off a little bit. 
Uh, we want to seem like the boogeyman. We want to seem like there's scary things going on behind closed doors. But I guess there really are. I think it's um, not even with this. This yeah. is next level. But with like, um, say, like the Harvey Weinsteins yeah. and the just anyone with all this power. Yeah. You just have too much power to be able to do this. Yeah. It's like the Louis C.K. It's just like people won't say no to you. It's just, it's just this yeah, level of power that's... And you try this next thing out. Beyond Let me being try like this a president out. or like uh, anything, it's yeah. just you're like one of the most influential. And you could make someone yeah. one of the most that's famous true. people yeah, legitimately. on yeah. It's like, say, like a Rihanna. It's like she doesn't write any song. Yeah. So essentially, you know, anyone can be Rihanna. Yeah. Anyone. Just got to be decent looking. Mm. And this person, I will get the greatest writers on earth to make you the biggest hits in the yeah. world. You're going to become a celebrity. Biggest hits in the world. Yeah, everyone will know you. Everyone's going to be singing your yeah, song. Yeah, of course. It's written by um, Akon, Jeremiah. They're going to be in the studio with yeah. you making the beats. Yeah. You're the biggest song of the year. Yeah. You're going to get the best trainers. Yeah. You're going to have features. Yeah. You're going to be Nike sponsored, yeah. added ass ads. Everything that you could possibly dream yeah. of. But you gotta do this. And that's crazy. That's crazy. That's what everyone says. And yeah. it's funny because it's a tactic used, in all honesty, by a lot of unsuccessful people to make them feel better about not making it. Yeah. It's like, hey, I didn't make it because I wasn't willing to do that. Yeah. And I'm glad I didn't make it because I didn't want to have to do X, sell y, my and soul, Z and yeah. sell my soul. And I think there was this there's a difference between like not making it. Because you probably didn't put in enough time. It's the thing is, like, how do you stop this from occurring? Yeah, because it's like it's easy Power. to get it once it's done. Yeah, but I mean, this he, is like human nature. Thing. He went through the whole thing, so he never even got done. While it was after it was done, this is way past the yeah. time limit that it should have finally come out. They're saying it goes back to 1991. Of course, he was popping back then. Yeah, he's not even popping right now. He hasn't been popping for a of long course, time. Yeah. So it's like, how can you, like, that should, it should almost be the focus. Yeah. Because it's like, this is horrific, but it's done. You can't really do anything besides prosecute him and yeah. get him done and all his He's associates, in jail. right? Yeah. You can do all that, but it's still like, how are we going to stop the next person from doing yeah. this? Which is probably happening right now. Who's yeah. doing it right now? Yeah, who's the, who's the who's other PD? Who's the now? Yeah. Drake? 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 Who has the next level influence and power? Yeah. Because, I don't know. DJ like, Khaled. Yeah. Um, who are the big producers right now? Who is the P. Diddy? Who's the, who's the guy with P. the record Diddy label? Because this is like next level. Okay, this is like yeah. the worst of the worst that there's been. Right. It's, the, it's like there's probably low level. How do you just stop? Yeah, how do you stop this from going it's on? It's like you almost can't, which is just like where you can just come to communism. <laughs> Legitimately, yeah, though. Yeah, that's yeah, where just course. communism comes into play, where it's like, well, people just can't have that power. We can't have someone that powerful and influential. Yeah. So we can't really have music being made. We can't have famous artists. We can't, like, glorify... And it comes back to the Bible, brother. Yeah. Legitimately, we can't have idols. Or this will just never stop. This is going to happen again. How could yeah. it not stop? They're an idol. They're, like, bigger than God. Yeah. And they can make someone The cops than are God. like, P. Diddy, yeah. yo. He's like, hey, bro, you want to come to a party? They're like, yeah, yeah, I guess so. You know? <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Who's going to stop him? Yeah. Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me? Can't stop. Won't stop. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's really terrifying. So... He's got... This is the thing. He's got kids. Yeah. He's got a bunch of kids of his own. Which usually is the case with a lot of... Um, uh, Everyone got kids. Monsters. Yeah. Out there. But it is terrifying. It's almost like you want to do a, a case study into just who is he. What was his upbringing like? I think his dad was a drug dealer who got killed. Yeah. Um, that he didn't find out for ages. Yeah. New York, mean streets, single mother. Probably gay. Kind of grind, yeah, closeted. Closeted. Trying to figure himself in out. In a very um, non-inclusive, racist yeah. Um, world yeah. that he's coming up in. And they were saying he was the one who was groomed. Or not, yeah, kind of groomed. Yeah. He's actually taken advantage of by... I think they said Leo Cohen <laughs> or one of, I don't know, allegedly. 
Um, Who's that? One of the one of these major um, record 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 heads, um, and he saw. Oh, there's a thing that got passed down, and it's like, oh, you want this role? Do this for me. He went and did that, and I wonder how that messes with your psyche. Yeah, where it's like, in order to get things in life, you have to pleasure people in a certain way. You have to. It do almost favors. comes back to the war, <laughs> <laughs> right? But it's this tit yeah. for tat. It's unstoppable. Yeah. It's the true. It's the eye for an eye. It's like yeah. once the eye has been put on you, yeah. it's too easy to then put it on someone else. Yeah, of course. Like you lose once something's taken from you, it is so easy for you to go and take it from someone. But you're not taking it from that person. You're taking it out on another innocent person. But that's, that's what like, I mean. Yeah. It is so easy for you to now take it on an innocent. Yeah. Because it's happened to you. Mm. So you're like, eh, I can't be. Is the it only that bad? One like, with this. I've been. Oh, through that's it. true. Yeah, I've been through it. I've hey, been through it. Suck it welcome up. to the world. Life. Yeah, welcome to the world. Welcome to the industry. Yeah, you're so keen to do that to someone. You're gonna else. get to do it one day. Yeah, you'll be in my spot. Yeah, you're lucky. And I guess Scary. it's it's so humiliating. Yeah. and dehumanizing to the point where, as a human. That's the only way out. You have to try to find a way to normalize it. You have to try to find a way to make sense yeah, of it. Yeah. You're like, no, this is normal. This isn't and that I'm bad. Gonna do it. This isn't bad. Because if it's bad, I'm going to kill myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if this, if, I if it's bad, this, it's the worst thing yeah. that could ever possibly they happen to you. And I'm going to have to like, kill myself. I yeah. won't be able to sleep. Legitimately. I'm not going to sleep. You at do night. have to like cope yeah. to a next level of, eh, yeah. it ain't that bad. Yeah, of course. Roll with the punches. Yeah. And I'm going to do it to I someone else. I kind of liked it. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Everyone should kind of do this. I'm going to pass it down and I'm going to tell them to pass it down. And you just have this scary cycle. And this is, the rumors are that this has been going on. Mm. I've heard these forever. Yeah. I've heard these from people lying about it. I think there's just, it's just been there. It's like in order to, what does sell your soul mean? What does sell your soul right, mean? Right, yeah. That's always been sell yeah. your soul to the devil. Sell your soul to the devil. Welcome to the music yeah, industry. Yeah, welcome to the music industry. You're like, oh, You're like, oh, yeah. a red devil I know. And you it's don't like, know what huh. it is. And then all these uh. people who go through it, they come out the other end and they've got these dead eyes. That's, that's scary. Do you know what I mean? They all come out and they're like zombies. They're like, yeah, and I was famous. I had a career. Now I can't stop drinking and I'm getting into like car accidents yeah. and I'm getting arrested and I have like, I look crazy. <sighs> and it just happens again and again and again. Well, I think you've just solved it right there. Yeah. What is the music industry? How do you, how can you make it? Is there any other way? Potentially not. Sell your soul to the devil. Yeah. You want to get big. People up top. And it's that, like, yeah. it's this cycle. They've all been through it. And it's of the next course. gen are coming. Of course. And then they'll do it. Yeah. And then it's just... Shoo, shoo, shoo. And it's just going to keep on getting passed We're down. We're going to move to mainland China and join <laughs> communism. I've never heard it happening there. I haven't heard that <laughs> happening there. 